There is a thriving colony on an island that survives by gathering seeds and fruit for food. Among the locals, there is a worker named Flick who devises crazy inventions to collect grain faster. When Flick tests his newest gizmo, he accidentally throws a piece of plant that hits Princess Atta in the face, almost crushing her. Flick apologizes, but the princess ignores him and asks about the thing on his back. Flick presents his grain collector, which he claims will make collecting seeds easier. But the princess is more concerned about the grasshoppers that will soon arrive to get their share of the food. Flick tries to convince the princess that he is a good inventor by making a makeshift telescope, but the elders throw it on the ground, claiming that he has no time to waste and must get back to work. Upset, Flick walks through the bushes and thinks about his failures, but then the grasshopper alert is sounded, and all the ants run in panic towards the ant hill. Flick's invention gets caught in a leaf, causing him to fall behind. Despite this setback, Flick manages to arrive in time and drops the contraption next to the food that will be carried away by the grasshoppers. Unfortunately, the contraption falls to the ground and knocks over the stones of the altar, throwing all the seeds straight into the water. Flick realizes the extent of the chaos he has caused and runs into the anthill, where everyone hears the grasshoppers asking where the food is. The entire colony turns to Flick, asking what he has done. But before he can answer, the grasshoppers break through the roof and infiltrate the place, making the workers helpless until their leader Hopper arrives. The princess tries to blame Flick, but the grasshopper demands the ants give him the food to ensure the protection of the colony. Hopper gives them another chance to get the seeds, but knowing they will run out of stock, the queen tries to ask for mercy. Hopper threatens them and takes the youngest princess to Thumper to play. Flick comes out shouting for Hopper to stop. But this makes the grasshopper furious, and he demands twice as many seats until the last leaf falls. The invaders leave, and the ants immediately begin Flick's trial. But while the judges argue about his sentence, Flick has the idea of sending someone to get help from larger insects to confront Hopper and his henchmen. The mission was considered risky and met with rejection by everyone, who believed that leaving the island would be too dangerous. However, when Flick offered to go, they accept it, seeing it as an opportunity to get rid of him and harvest in peace. As Flick was leaving the island, a group of circus insects put on a fierce fight to impress the audience. But things went awry when the black widow Rosie lashed out at Dim, causing the giant beetle to scream in pain and reveal his cowardice. This caused the audience to leave and demand a refund from Mr. Flea, the manager. In an attempt to salvage the situation, Mr. Flea summoned his best clowns, but they failed to make the audience laugh. Eventually, Gypsy and Manny, the illusionist duo, were called in to entertain the audience with their magic tricks, but chaos broke out when one of the flies insulted the mantis and threw raspberry jam on the stage. The magician left the stage in anger, and the audience grew tired and began to leave. In a last-ditch effort to save the show, Mr. Flea announced that he would perform a dangerous fire trick, which drew the remaining audience's attention. Before performing the trick, Mr. Flea explained that he would light a trail of matches, leading to a piece of flight paper soaked in lighter fluid. He also introduced the Fly Brothers, who would be thrown by Dim when the timer ran out. According to Mr. Flea, Rosie would need to weave a safety web for the twins before the 15 seconds were up. To make things more interesting, he asked the audience to put on blindfolds. The Flea lit the first match and got into position, but while the audience was tying on their blindfolds, the Fly Brothers got into a fight and one of them accidentally dropped the first match. When Rosie realized the mistake, Mr. Flea started screaming, and she thought it was time to start. The Fly Brothers were thrown, but one of them hit Mr. Flea, causing him to fly across the web and get stuck to the leaf-soaked inflammable liquid. As the flames grew closer, Mr. Flea tried to free himself but ended up falling onto the flypaper and causing an explosion that burned his body. In the meantime, Flake started looking for warriors to save his anthill and saw a bartender kicking out some troublemakers, thinking it might be a good place to look. Upon entering the bar, Flake is immediately overwhelmed by the presence of numerous dangerous insects. He approaches them seeking help to save his anthill. Meanwhile, some recently fired circus artists are drowning their sorrows at a table in the corner. The flies who had earlier confronted Francis spot him and decide to provoke him again, this time with the aid of a giant friend. Francis decides to keep quiet and endure the taunts, but eventually seeks help from Slim and Heimlich, 
Together, they pretend to be knights and manage to intimidate their opponents. But the mutant ladybug grabs Slim by the neck and threatens them all. The rusty tin can that serves as the bar cannot withstand the weight concentrated at a single point and starts rolling, causing total destruction. After the accident, Flick discovers that the circus artists are the only ones still conscious, leading him to believe they are some sort of super warriors. He offers them a job to help save his anthill, but the insects misunderstand thinking he's a talent scout offering them a new show. They accept the offer and set off to the ant hill together. On the island, the ants are overworked and struggling to collect enough food to meet their goal before the end of summer. Meanwhile, the children, including Dot, are wagering on whether Flick will return alive. Suddenly, Flick appears on the horizon with the supposed warriors. However, the ants mistake them for an attack from the grasshoppers and flee in panic. When Flick emerges victorious, he announces that he has returned with the promised help, leaving the colony impressed, but also frightened by the visitor's appearance. The queen and princess congratulate Flick, but the princess expresses fear of facing the grasshoppers. Francis, realizing the princess's fear, makes a speech that impresses everyone, although it is actually about a performance rather than a fight. The colony holds a welcoming ceremony and the scouts prepare a drawing to honor the supposed warriors. However, they unintentionally include Heimlich sliced in half in the illustration, causing him to become pale with fear. The children then enact a play about the upcoming battle, leading the artist to realize that they have been hired to fight an insect war. When the artists realize, they become shocked and Francis suggests leaving immediately. However, Atta decides to give a royal speech, thanking the visitors for agreeing to help. Flake also starts speaking, but Rosie reveals to the inventor that they are actually circus performers, leaving him bewildered and panicked. The ant interrupts Flake's speech and confronts the artists in the middle of the woods, but they refuse to help and decide to leave. Flake asks for time to come up with a plan to avoid telling the truth to the anthill, but the artists leave before he can. Flake tries to stop Ada from following them, but she manages to slip away. The tired group, including Flake and the woodworm, land and Flick sees a bird's nest, causing him to run away, leaving the rest in confusion. The insects observe how Flick is running when suddenly a bird appears from behind, causing them to run away. Dot, seeing Flick running, tries to glide on a dandelion to get closer and investigate. However, due to the air current, she loses control and is attacked by the bird. The girl is in freed fall when Francis flies to her and catches her in midair. Unfortunately, they fall to the ground and some rocks crush the ladybug's leg, causing her to feign pain. Despite this, the bird continues its pursuit and tries to catch them in the crevice. Slim and Heimlich divert the bird's attention, while Flake and the rest of the group fly to rescue the ladybug. However, during the rescue, the caterpillar becomes trapped in the cracks and nearly becomes a meal for the bird. At the last second, the gypsy manages to drive the predator away with her wings, saving the caterpillar. As the bird chases the butterfly, Tim carries everyone away from the nest with Rosie's webs. However, just as they are about to escape, Francis cuts the threads with his shell, forcing the ants to hold on to his antennae to avoid falling into the abyss. At that moment, the bird hears the insect's cries and abandons the chase for the butterfly, going after what seems to be an easier prey. But Tim manages to climb the slope in time, leaving everyone in the middle of the thorny branches. While everyone out of harm's way, the ants applaud the troops' performance, and for the first time in their careers, they hear the sound of clapping. Encouraged by their success, the ants decide to stay in the colony, and Francis recovers in the medical ward. Atta goes to check on the ladybug and invites Flick into a conversation, praising their bravery and facing a bird, something that even Hopper is afraid of. Upon hearing this, the worker realizes that grasshoppers are also at risk of being eaten by birds and suggests to the group that they create a scarecrow bird to scare off their attackers without having to fight. The ants, still enjoying their newfound famous heroes, decide to follow through with their plan to create a bird to scare off the grasshoppers. With the help of all the ants in the colony, they construct the bird with twigs, dry leaves and tree bark, and place it inside a tree trunk to remain hidden until Hopper arrives. Meanwhile, the grasshoppers are enjoying their free time drinking and preying on other insects, but one of them suggests that they should not go to the anthill due to the upcoming rainy season and the surplus of food they already have. However, Hopper remembers Flick's bravery and shows his henchmen that the ants can be a big problem in large numbers. 
While most of the ants are having a party in the grass, they suddenly receive a warning and prepare for battle. However, they soon realize that Mr. Flea and his caravan are approaching, looking for the artists. Flick tries to divert them, but they are eventually spotted by the fireflies and forced to reveal themselves. After Mr. Flea eventually locates them, he rushes over to the performers and informs them that their match routine was a huge success. He wants to hire them again. However, the ants overheard the conversation and realized that their warriors are merely circus performers. One of the elders is enraged and claims that the defense strategy was created by clowns. Francis blurts out that it was all Flake's game, which causes everyone to turn against him. The queen is disgusted and orders them to forget the plan, dismissing the troop, so they can collect the seeds as soon as possible. Flake tries to defend them, but the monarch accuses him of endangering the entire anthill and orders him to leave the colony and never return. The grasshoppers finally arrive, but because the ants had little time to gather, they can't accumulate even 10% of what they should. Ada panics as the grasshoppers approach the anthill, and Hopper becomes irate when he sees the amount of grain they collected. He declares that he will not allow them to rest until they collect the last seed from the island. At this point, the grasshoppers begin to corner the ants as they try to escape. Dot and the scouts manage to escape and hide in a tree. However, as soon as they enter the shelter, two enemies approach and discuss Hopper's plan, revealing that the villain intends to crush the queen after collecting all the grain. After learning about Hopper's plan, Dot decides to leave her hiding place and search for help. However, she runs into Thumper, who chases her through the woods. She manages to escape when Thumper collides with a thorn bush and becomes disoriented. Dot finds the inventor and tells him about the Hopper's intentions, but he is in a melancholic state and refuses to assist. Despite their attempts to cheer him up, he still declines. Dot convinces him to return to the colony, stating that everyone needs him. As night falls, the performers arrive at the anthill and attempt to distract the grasshoppers. However, Hopper isn't interested in the show and orders his minions to eliminate the troop. In fear, Dim accidentally activates the cannon, which throws the twins in front of the stage. They start slapping each other, causing Hopper to allow them to perform with the grasshopper's permission. While the performance distracts everyone, the scouts and Flick climb a tree to race the bird on the ground. Manny then performs a magic trick on the queen, placing her in a box and making Gypsy appear in her place. However, Hopper becomes suspicious and demands to know where the queen is. Gypsy and Manny attempt to deceive the grasshoppers, while Kim begins to carry the monarch away from its shell. However, the grasshoppers realize the abduction, and the butterfly signals the scouts to release the bird. Upon seeing the bird, the invaders despair, and the ants pretend to be injured using jelly, causing the grasshoppers to flee. But when Mr. Flea sees Manny apparently injured, he gets angry and decides to take revenge. To scare off the supposed predator, he takes a match and flammable liquid and tries to set the bird on fire, which causes it to combust almost instantly as it is covered with dry leaves. To save the kids and prevent everyone from being burned inside the bird, Flick cuts the wire holding the bird to the tree, causing it to fall to the ground. The scouts climb out of the fake bird, but unfortunately, Hopper sees everything and grabs Dot by the head, demanding to know whose idea it was. The inventor takes responsibility to prevent the princess from being hurt, and Hopper calls Thumper to beat up the worker ant. However, after a while, the invader gets tired of watching and approaches him saying that he is worse than a worm and that ants were put in the world to serve them. Upon hearing Flick's response, Hopper becomes furious and decides to finish him off with his bare hands. However, the other ants finally take action and Anta announces that the colony will get all the food from now on. The entire ant hill moves in on the grasshoppers who run away scared. But when they put Hopper inside the cannon, an extremely heavy rain starts to fall and the villain takes advantage of the confusion to catch Flick and take him away. Dim and the others decide to go after him, but Francis ends up losing Slim among the dry branches, causing them to fall behind. As they continue their search, Rosie binds the twins with her web and throws them at Hopper, but they get stuck in the middle of the branches, allowing the grasshopper to escape with Flick. However, Atta catches up with them and catches the inventor in the grasshopper's clutches. Knowing that they will continue to be followed, Flick asks the princess to fly off the island and hide behind a rock while he goes out to face the enemy, thinking he has won. 
Hopper says he will return with more henchmen and eliminate every last ant on the island. However, while he is talking, the bird that almost got Dot hears the noise and decides to leave the nest to see what is happening. Flake had planned all along to use the bird's natural instincts against it, but Hopper didn't take the plan seriously and made a crude joke. However, when the bird made a loud noise, Hopper realized the danger and tried to escape. Unfortunately, he was caught by the bird and became dinner for her baby. With no more invaders to deal with, the ant colony was finally able to live in peace. The group of artists decided to return to work with Mr. Flea and Mold, who had joined their troop. Before leaving, they said goodbye to everyone and gave Flake a round of applause for being the colony's true hero. Once everything was settled, Tim began loading the caravan to head to the next show. As they were leaving, Slim noticed that Heimlich was not on board. However, he soon saw the caterpillar emerging from its cocoon as a beautiful butterfly, finally realizing its greatest dream. Thank you for joining me on this recap of A Bug's Life. It's always a pleasure to revisit classic animated movies that have touched the hearts of so many. From the daring exploits of Flake and his ant colony to the hilarious antics of the circus bugs, this film continues to captivate audiences of all ages. But speaking of captivating animated films, let's shift our attention to another beloved Disney classic, Brother Bear. This heartwarming tale of a young boy's transformation into a bear is a testament to the power of friendship, forgiveness, and the natural world. So let's buckle up, click this video, and get ready for another exciting adventure.